Now I'm standing. You all happy? We're all standing up now. Hello, it's Chef Brown's Classroom again today. And today, Master Ugwe and I are excited to talk to you about another part of child development, which is about moral development, including Kohlberg's theory on moral development. Now, Master Ugwe is super excited to get his new toy here, which is a skateboard. Right, Master Ugwe? <laughs> Put your on. We're excited to talk about moral development in the context of Guardians of the Galaxy. So what should we do next? Something good? Something bad? A bit of both? We'll follow your lead, Star Lord. Bit of both. What he did was he would tell a story of a moral dilemma to kids of different ages. Now, the story was all about Heinz. Heinz had a wife who was dying of a disease. There was a pharmacist in the city that he lived, in the town that he lived, who uh, had a medicine that could cure his wife. And it was very expensive. Heinz couldn't afford to pay for it. So he tried to get as much as he could from his friends to borrow enough money. He could only get half the amount. The pharmacist refused to sell it to him, even though he was making 10 times the amount that it cost for him to make it. Heinz was walking home one day, and he saw that he could get the medicine just by breaking the glass and stealing it. Should Heinz steal the medicine? That is the question that he asked the kids of different ages. Are you yawning in the middle of this while I'm breaking it down? Huh? Did you hear what I said? Stop listening after you said we need a plan. What he was most interested in is not only their answer, but what is their moral reasoning. You saw how that high priestess talked down to us. Now I'm teaching her a lesson. Well, I didn't realize your motivation was altruism. It's really a shame the sovereign had mistaken your intentions and are trying to kill us. Exactly. I was being sarcastic. Oh no, you're supposed to use a sarcastic voice. Now I look foolish. Can we put the, big the first stage is about avoiding punishment. Do you need to follow the rules because you're going to be punished or you can, can you get away? with not following the rules because you can get away without being punished. What were you thinking? Dude, they were really easy to steal. That's your defense? Come on! You the second stage is about self-interest or reward. What am I going to get from this? What is my reward that I'm going to get? We could give it to somebody who's not going to arrest us, who's really nice for a whole lot of money. I think it's a really good balance between both of your points of view. You're despicable. I get that, but why are we doing it? Because we're nice. Maybe whoever it is will give us a little cheddar cheese for our effort. Which isn't the point. Which isn't the point. Next stage is stage number three, which has to do with social conformity or trying to please others around us, including our parents, our teachers, society. How do we be the good boy or a good girl so that we can live up to what society expects from us? <gasps> yes. You're home. Peter. I am Mantis. What are you doing? Smiling. I hear it is the thing to do to make people like you. What if you do it like that? Stage four is what are the rules of society? What are the laws? Do you need to obey the laws? Do you need to break the laws? Is that going to cause social chaos if you break the laws? However, I have to warn you against breaking any laws in the future. Question. What if I see something that I want to take and it belongs to someone else? Well, you will be arrested. But what if I want it more than the person who has it? Still illegal. That doesn't follow. No, I want it more, sir. You understand? What are you laughing at? Why well, can't I have a discussion with this gentleman? What if someone does something irksome and I decide to remove his spine? That's, that's actually murder. It's one of the worst crimes of all, so also illegal. Hmm. Stage five is about the social contract or what's gonna make for a better society. What is gonna create, what is the most important thing for society that is trying to make society a better place. We're wanted by the Nova Corps. Just give it to Ronan so he can destroy the galaxy. What are you, some saint all of a sudden? What has the galaxy ever done for you? Why would you want to save it? Because I'm one of the idiots who lives in it. Peter. Stage six is universal moral principles 
that have to do with certain things are right and wrong according to your conscience, and some of those things might go against conventional rules like laws. No. Listen to me. Ronan has something called an infinity stone. I know what he's got, girl. Then you know we must get it back. He's gonna use it to wipe out Xandar. We have to warn them. Billions of people will perish. Is that what you've been filling your head with, boy? Sentiment! <laughs> Tell him about the dance-off to save the universe. What dance-off? It's not a, it's not a, it's not. I can footloose the movie. Exactly like footloose. Is it still the greatest movie in history? It never was. Thing is, my Sugway, and I would just like to remind you to subscribe and like, because uh, my Sugway is very entertaining to watch here. Plus, we got more stuff for you in the future. Oh, we've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago. No, I wasn't listening. I was thinking of something. Else. <laughs>